Tuesday. Today is Happy Tuesday. Good morning, boys and girls. This is our last show of the year, so I'm going to present a few more products that I have that are waiting to get on the show, and we'll pick up again in September. I want to congratulate all of our fifth graders who graduated today, and we'll be seeing this show tomorrow, but uh, super excited for the year that we had. I want to wish all of you a wonderful summer. All right, today we have monkeys. Fun facts about monkeys, their diet, uh, and the different types. Super well done and illustrated, of course. And this is by G and Chloe in room 103. Uh, <clears throat> monkeys are very smart, very, very smart. Uh, and so um, they can perform tasks that humans can perform, as a matter of fact. Um, let's see. They love to eat fruit seeds roots and insects and there are numerous different types of monkeys uh, and they're locally you know obviously we've talked about uh, about this but um, their habitat can also range um, so thank you girls then we have George Washington by Nusebra in room 122 so George Washington was the first president of the US and so we have some fun facts about George Washington and Betsy Ross. Tomorrow we'll be learning a little bit about Betsy Ross when we have our Flag Day ceremony. But she was a seamstress. I love that. That means that she would sew things. She was very good at sewing things. And did you know that George Washington set up our banking system? Yeah. All right. And so thank you, Nusei. But the other thing I love about this, took two cards, the backs of cards, Otherwise, would have been just thrown out and made good use of it. All right. This is from Alexandra and uh, Udita in third grade. So they did, uh, they made almost like a diorama, but they did it um, in the, through the lens of math using the perimeter and area. And then on the top, you can see that the perimeter of the, uh, green dog so you, I don't know if you can see this but all of the uh, things inside here are uh, like rectangles and squares so the dog right there uh, is rectangles and squares and they made the perimeter of the dog um, and let's see there's a batter there's a flag there's a butterfly, and they did all the math for these. Awesome. I love this. And then finally, we have some cool items. So I want to show you. This is from Emmo, uh, who's been working on, take a look at this, just uh, taking things that we might have thrown out already, uh, saving them. And then creating awesome little uh, items. So this is like a, a little dog cage. There's the doggy inside. Little iPhone. Uh, so super cool. All right. And now we're going to move on to our mystery number and uh, wordle. So uh, here we go. Yep, get smart and be kind this summer. Yep, the McVay way. Get smart and be kind to each other and the earth this summer. Okay, and this mystery number we should have been able to figure out. Well, I said it's two homonyms, and it does not include the smallest of the homonyms that are even, and they are consecutive. So that would make these two numbers 40, uh, 4 and 8 because uh, they are consecutive homonyms that are even, and they do not include the other homonym, which, of course, is two. So, why did I pick 48? Because there are 48 days after tomorrow until school opens again. Woo! 
All right. Our mighty kind moment of the day. Let's get our drum roll. Da, da, da. So the mighty kind moment of the day is a shout out to our bus driver. So if you're a bus rider, make sure you thank them because they are here every single day doing their very best to keep us safe. And they deserve a nice thing. That's it. So, my friends, of course, I'll end today the way I do every day. And every day is a great day to be smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.